Greetings. I'm Wilfred Malderson. I'm CEO of the Hypoglycemia Support Foundation, and I'm here with two amazing leaders in the field of metabolic health and nutrition, Dr. Uma Pashardi and Dr. Robert Lustig, who are both very involved with a symposium on metabolic health, catalyzing science to action for transformation and resilience across the lifespan. This is a CME conference that's continuing medical education conference for health professionals being held June 9th through 11th in Seattle with Swedish Hospital. And we've done this short little series of videos here to break down the topic, uh, the overall topics of the conference a little bit. And the last part of the title of the conference is Transformation and Resilience Across the Lifespan. That's a wonderful sounding sentence, but what does it mean? Um, Dr. Pashardi, what is this transformation and resilience across the lifespan? What does that mean in your world? It means that children have hope that if we take proper science from the bench and the research and apply it to children's health through teaching them the nuggets of how to eat for their health, how to teach their mitochondria to be healthier, children can come back and feel better than they ever had. And that's why I love pediatrics because children are so resilient and we can make them feel better with the right science applied at the right moment in their, in their childhood and in their health. Dr. Lustig? People think of chronic disease as unrelenting, progressive, uh, no uh, ability to turn it around, you're gonna die of it. Nothing could be further from the truth. People say, oh, you can't get better from type two diabetes. Oh, yes, you can, absolutely. And we proved it in a study that we did at the University of California, San Francisco, by taking kids off their standard processed food and feeding them real food with low sugar and high fiber, we were able to mitigate all their symptoms of metabolic syndrome in nine days flat. And we've actually done it with adults in 14 days flat. So your food is not necessarily your fate unless you choose it to be. But that requires resilience. Thank you both.